Versioning is a feature that comes with SharePoint, and versioning applies to libraries and lists. Basically what happens is that there are various versions of, say, a document that are kept, a history of versions of a document, and you're able to go back to and restore a previous version of a document, or view previous versions of a document, which can be very, very helpful. When we talk about versions, there are major versions and there are minor versions. Major versions are typically a full, a full number, like 1, 2, 3. And minor versions tend to be a decimal place, so 1.1, 2.1, 2.2, .1, and so on. They're minor versions. You can choose to discard a version, um, and you can basically go back to a history of versions. So let's have a look. When you're in a document library or a list, you can actually go to the gear button and you would choose list settings or library settings. And from there you would see an option called um, versioning. And here it is here. Oh. And here it is here, version settings. If I click on version settings for this particular document library, then I get to control the versioning of this library. The first thing I've got here is whether I require that new items need to be approved before they can be checked in. So I'm going to require content approval, yes. Then I can specify whether I keep major versions or major and minor versions. So let's go for major and minor. I can actually keep a, a cap on the number of major versions, or if I take this tick off, we have no cap as to the number of versions that can be created. Who should see the draft items of this document? That can be chosen here as well. And require documents to be checked out before they can be edited? I might choose yes. So the versioning settings are in here and I'm going to click OK. And I'm then going to click documents in the quick launch to return back to my documents library. Now if I look at a particular document, perhaps catalogue, I can look at its version history simply by going to the show actions or I could use this option up here as well. But I'm actually going to select catalogue and sorry there it is there. So I'm going to select catalogue, I'm going to hit show actions and I'm going to go this way to view the version history. The history will soon come up for this document version 1, version 2, version 3. So I'm up to my third version of this file. The first version was at 8.23 on the 13th of February. But then the second version was created at 4.18 on the 2nd of April when Kathy Barker made some changes and said that the prices had been updated. And then a few minutes later, four minutes later, version 3 was created when the same person then made more changes and said I've updated the prices following our last meeting. So this is the version history we can see here and currently everything is approved, probably because I can approve it. If I wanted to delete all versions, that's what this option would do here. And if I wanted to delete all draft versions, I could do that too. If I wanted to view version 1, I would simply click this date here and open and it will actually open up the original file with the original prices in it. And here are the original prices. And it even says up here, backup version. If I close that, I'm returned to the version history. If I wanted to open this version, I would simply click it. And if I open this version, it'll be the same. It will be the latest. If I hit the drop down, I can not only view that version, but I could restore it. If I felt that this third version was incorrect, I could choose to delete it or unpublish this version. Unpublish this version, um, or this one here, restore this one, or delete this one. So you can restore versions of a document, delete versions of a document, and view previous versions of a document. And that really is the purpose of versioning. I'll just close this. Also, if I go into the details pane, 
you can see properties of the document in here. If I decided to check out this document, I might click the Show Actions, go to More, and check out the document. So nobody else can make changes to that document. I will now download that document and save it to a certain location. I'll then open that document and make some more changes. I'll then close and save the file and then I'll upload the file It will then upload it and ask me to replace it, so I'll replace the file. And wait for the progress to complete. Done. And then I will go back to the show actions and more, and I will check in the file. This is when it's going to ask me the questions regarding versioning that I spoke about earlier. It's asking me if this is a minor version change or is this a major version. I'm going to choose major. Retain your checkout after checking in? No. And I'm going to put some comments. These are the final price changes. This document is now ready for distribution. And OK. If I now go and look at the version history of this document, I should now see they're up to version 3.1 and it's pending, waiting for approval. When the approval is made, it will be the final version 4. To approve the document, I'll go back into the Show Actions, I'll go to More, and I'll actually approve, rather than cancel, I'll approve or reject this particular version. I'm going to say that it's approved, and it will be visible now to all users, 100% approved and complete. I'll click OK. I'll now go back to the version history. And there I can see it's been approved and it is now version 4. So the whole idea of versioning is that there are multiple versions of a document as it gets checked out, as it gets checked in, as it waits for approval, if there's minor changes, major changes, and so people can see the progression of a document and they can return back to an earlier version of the document if necessary.